Hey you guys, welcome back to my series where we talk about automotive UX, or as I like to call it, how to tell if your car is actually high tech or just hyped up. Now, if you're new here, make sure you go onto my page and check out the intro video first. All right, so today we're talking about user control and freedom. So according to Nielsen Norman Group, when it comes to user control and freedom, users often perform actions by mistake. So what we need is a clearly marked emergency exit so that we can leave the unwanted action without going through a whole extended process. So in automotive UX, this means providing the driver with clear and ample opportunity to correct their actions basically without having to navigate through a whole crazy setup. So for example, like an e-brake, right? Pretty simple, straight to the point, one shot, easy stop. You wanna provide a lot of actions like that so that users don't feel overwhelmed and they don't have to go through a bunch of steps so that if they are in a sense of emergency or even not emergency, but just needing to stop whatever action they're doing, they have as quick and easy of an opportunity to do so as they can. And the more you do that, the more you give the driver a sense of control and autonomy and ultimately trust with the car. So for example, having clear and easily accessible buttons or controls so that the driver can cancel or redo actions and providing straightforward navigation options in the infotainment system or GPS can help the driver feel empowered and in control, especially in high stress driving situations. If you like this series and want to learn more, make sure you hit like and follow.